seems like whenever you guys play Memphis, it's just a grinded out kind of grinded out game. Um, is it something that they're doing, or is it just one of those things? I mean, that's just how they play. They're missing their point guard. They, you know, season is a little funky for them. So you can just tell by how they play. Their coach is just uh, probably emphasizing just being physical, overplaying on defense, just trying to get in the passing lane, just trying to disrupt um, the offense. So they did a good job of just, you know, playing physical, bumping us off our spots a little bit, you know, just overplaying. But I thought once we caught the ball and we were strong with it, we made good moves and we was able to kind of counteract, counteract that and, and, and make plays. But it was just overly aggressive. Kevin, why don't you think Clay got the same amount of looks in the first half as he did in the second? Well, they made adjustments and they did a good job with just like keeping the body on them. Um, and, you know, they see him coming off screens. The bigs help a little bit more. And and they were grabbing and holding and, and you know, just playing physical. And they did it with all of us. So we just had to do it as a team. And Clay got us going and, and got us a nice lead there in the first half. And our defense kind of won this game for us. Shocked when he got a technical? Who, Clay? Yeah. Nah, nah, I mean, I was hoping he did because dude, uh, who was that, Macklemore maybe, was just grabbing his arm as soon as he shot the ball, and the refs just looked at it and didn't call it. So I knew if, at some point, you know, like I said, with all the grabbing and holding and the physical play, that, you know, they'll let some stuff go, but that, I'm, I'm sure that frustrated Clay. You mentioned a couple of times the, the grabbing and holding. Now they called a couple of off-ball fouls in that third quarter, but they can't call every single one of those, obviously. So mm -hmm. what can you do to respond when it does get physical off the ball like that? Um, just play uh, play with force. I think we did a good job of um, once we, we realized this is how the game is going to be, we played with some force. Uh, and, you know, we also made shots. You know, I think we just made plays, to be honest. You know, guys, Pat with the tip dunk got us going. You know, we – Pick and roll, they're trapping. We dump it off to Jordan. He dump it to D West. You know, I think we just did it as a team. We let the, <clears throat> we let the ball move, and um, we found a good shot later in the, in, well, in the second half. And obviously, our defense was great. I only scored 33 points in the second half, so that was a good job. Kevin, with your, your shooting efficiency the last couple of games, is this you just missing shots, or with everybody out, teams are just pretty much gearing on you? Yeah, I'm smart enough to know. I mean, this is our, what, sixth game without our, all our guys. And Dre was out tonight and Sean out the last two games. Obviously, his team is not going to let me just play one-on-one -on -one or play free or, you know, let me do what I want. So um got to find ways to just be effective. And I miss shots, but that's not all. That's not the whole basketball game. I'll figure that out. It's a long season. I, sh I work uh, on my shot enough to know that I'm going to have some lows sometimes. So, um I don't expect it to happen next game, but if it does, so what? Just try to figure out how to, you know, how we can win. You look, I mean, I don't know if you've always enjoyed it this much, but you look like you're really enjoying blocking shots this year. Uh, have you always enjoyed it this much? And if not, when did that start to kick in for you? Yeah, um, I I've, I've really enjoy it now. I mean, before it was, you know, I was just trying to, I, I didn't think it was, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I think Coach is doing a good job of just every time somebody gets beat, um, telling me to come over to help trap the box. My teammates always, when somebody's driving, they just, yo, K, okay, go get it. And, you know, I just try to do my best to contest that shot out the rim. But it's always been fun blocking somebody's shot. But I'm just, I'm just more focused on protecting the rim now and just being there for the help more so than anything. And I happen to get a few blocks in the process. KD, what uh, led to the defensive efforts tonight? Was it just matching their physicality? Um, yeah, and uh, we just didn't want to lose, and uh, we didn't want them to score easy points. And we know this this team is uh, the record is not not great, but they got guys that can come that can go off and and have great games. Tyreek, I think we did a good job on him, just you know making it tough on him. And Mark as well, he's a you know probably the best center in the league or top two. Um, so uh, we know these guys can come out and, and and have a high scoring night. So I think we just try to do everything together, rebound the basketball, close the paint up, and contest shots. Uh, Kevin, Steve said before the game he, he would like to have a healthy roster, of course, but he also likes to see so many guys getting key minutes um, in December. How might this stretch help you guys come April, May, June? Um, 
having so many guys playing key minutes? Well, it's about experience in the league. It's about repetition. Um, so when you out there in a, you know, in a close game, a tight game, you, know, you just get more comfortable more and more uh, as you go through it. And obviously, we want our whole team back. We want to continue to build chemistry that way. Uh, but also, um, coach knows how important guys coming off the bench are, just role players, guys who have to step up now and maybe get more shots or more touches. Uh, we just know uh, it's only going to be good for confidence and good for just that experience in the long run. So it's great for us. Patrick playing a point, um, doing a good job of controlling the game. Then you got Quinn coming in, playing well, and Loon has been playing great all season. And, you know, uh, Jordan Bell, JaVale, you know, guys that – you know, sometimes they might play one game and not play the next. Um, it's good that they're getting consistent minutes to just build that confidence and just build that, uh, just gain more experience um, and knowledge in those tough situations because we're going to need everybody down the stretch.